but we don't see him that often captaining. Uh, he's done it a couple times, I think. A few it. times. I mean, veteran must be the most uh, captained player, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's because he like into the locks it though. Yeah. <laughs> He does let other people try it, but he does like to do it, I guess, once per session if he can. Yeah. Seems to be the case, so. Five seconds. Socken's already rooting for his boy Dokken in the chat. Such a cute couple. Oh. I ship it, Do Dokken, Zokken. I feel like after that one game Tim played it, everyone's banning Underlord against him, even though he's only played it like twice in, in house. He's played it a few times. It's like Tim had this thing going where he'd lose a game on another hero and then he'd win it on Underlord. And that repeated for <laughs> such a long time. I think people have just started burning Underlord no matter what. See, I know his recent games on a BBGS leaderboard actually. Yeah, uh, you do some analysis for us, Brex. Oh, there's the Pango Radiant ban for Decay. Decay has been here for like three in houses and he's already being target banned. Does that feels good, man? Does that feels bad, man? Um, I think he would. I uh, I would think that would feel quite good if people target if about you. Plan. Yeah, yeah, that early on. Okay, yeah. Tim's played Tim's played Underlord five times in in houses. He's won two and lost three. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the stats. Okay, <laughs> it must be all in his head then. <laughs> and unless I'm missing one, but maybe maybe okay. I'm wrong. One, one, one of them was very early on though, so maybe I don't know if that hurts it much. Offlane Shadow Demon, yeah, first pick Shadow Demon, probably to counter the Wind Ranger. As we know, it's a very Five famous counter. Remaining. Until you get shackled. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. It's it's whoever gets whichever CC off first, right? But with Shadow Demon, if he can get his ult off, it is very effective at shutting down Wind Ranger, so... Yeah, I can see the pick. Looks good to me. The hero, the hero feels very bad in pubs though. It's not really the low win rate as far as I'm aware. Let's I don't look. feel like it's that bad in Divine. It's 50%, isn't it? I haven't checked for a while. I'll, I'll check. Yeah, check in Divine Plus. be interesting to see how Dyer plays because JCA remaining. hasn't been in in house for a long while. Um, it will kill. I don't think he's ever joined an in house. Um, no, he hasn't. And this is Decay's, what, third game? So, whereas everyone on the Radiant are regular, well, sort of, Dokken is sort of. He's becoming regular. Yeah. Um, right. so, but more experienced players on Radiant, remaining. so it'll be interesting to see. That's a good so point. Sh Shadow Demon's overall win rate in Five all pubs is 46%. Radiant. In Divine, it's just over 50%. Well, if it's over 50, it's doing all right then. Yeah. yeah. Although, but, although I don't know who plays it. But it's got to be a divine yeah. player, otherwise it's uh, it's going to lose the game. That's yeah. the statistics. They don't lie. So. Well, well, if it's pause five, then it would either be Dark or like, how's he Belial playing? It? Well, Drekken said in chat, Dan Shadow Demon, easy game. So maybe Noodles. Oh, Dan played it before. Maybe okay. Noodles is going to play Shadow Demon. We've got the Mars, Tim Mars. He did very well in one of his recent Mars games. So. Maybe he's hoping to continue that streak. Ten seconds remaining. Sure, he'd like to. Five seconds remaining. Faceless Void banned. Nothing surprising, especially against Veteran. He loves picking Faceless Void. Second phase Faceless Void ban. N name a more iconic duo. <laughs> yeah. Um, first phase Wind Ranger, Rubik ban, or Abaddon. <laughs> against certain players. Bad and not banned. Because you're not here. Yeah, I, mean, I wasn't in it last time and they still banned it. <laughs> yeah, they did actually. I feel like it's just habit now. Oh, there's a bad and we're going to ban him. Goodbye. What? Next Seeker two, ban. Landing next, two, next two bans, Sven, Spectre. Let's go. Yeah, that's... <laughs> well, Sven does get through quite a lot actually. Spectre is more likely to be banned. Remaining. I don't know the Bloodseeker ban though. Is that... Is it because it's a counter to Wind Ranger really. to some aspects? But they've already got yeah, Shadow Demon. Yeah, but would you play it though, mid? It well, pause three, it's pause three. But then you've I mean, got Mars, I'm... yeah. Yeah, I've got Mars. Yeah, we saw a it, pause one Mars and it didn't do so well. No. He doesn't... I feel like he could be a very strong mid laner. You know, get lots of damage <laughs> items and burst people, but I don't feel like he's a... Um... As, as I suspect the Oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. I don't think Mars is a pause one hero, really. 
If he really wanted to go all Normally. in on the uh, pound to the wind range, he, Sven, Sven's actually not that bad because once he has the Ten dispel talent, you just get rid of wind run when you axe jump. Yeah, I think Five that's the. Remaining. Sven's ha used to be quite a bad hero, and he's had so many massive buffs. The I the fact that he's got this long range initiation stun, which also dispels. It's like, what do you even do against this hero? I remember when they first added the axe, no one was building it. Radiant but I think that's because the dispel talent Radiant was at like level 20 or something, and they swapped it around, and now everyone's like, ah, it's broken now. Yeah. <laughs> they did swap it around, yeah. Uh, Drekken called the jug ban, like instantly. He knows um, he knows them too well, his drafting mind. That's, Lich that's was picked actually, right? so quick. Radiant Look how quick these pick. picks are now. Dyer have used quite a lot of reserves. Like, Bad guy makes it in, but in phase two. Okay, it does give them uh, a bit of a lack of crowd control. Although I guess the Baden's pretty good at saving you against uh, uh, the other team. It's kind of sad versus Shadow Demon, actually. It's large. Uh, so while you can purge the poison stacks, it still procs the damage. And if you're if you get altered by the Shadow Demon, you, it stops the, your your ultimate passively activating. So you just they burst you right. Yeah, oh, oh, no, I mean, like, if you're silenced or stunned or whatever, it, it doesn't activate, but, like, automatically. Will so the curse of Avernus prevail Five once again? Really. Well, we'll see. It's a different person playing it, so they may have a different Abaddon playstyle. Um, yeah, I, I don't, don't like Max Curse of Avernus. I've always hated that. I feel like you need to max the, the what's the first one called? Mist Coil. But everyone has a slightly different playstyle. Um, you could even have a very aggressive Abaddon rushing Radiance. I mean, who knows, really? Put it, well, put it safely. Well... <laughs> Often, I have played safe lane Abaddon, it doesn't really work, because even if you get Radiance and you're very hard to kill, you just don't scale well enough into the late game. I feel like you're better off saving your team, which you do, you know, Holy Locket, Guardian Greaves. Um, <laughs> That's super overkill. What do you get, like, I Vlad's and Vlad's you can get good. Crimson, just, oh, the Ags as well against certain teams. You know, Lich Hulk popping off and you're just firing out missed calls. I do wonder if... Uh... Like, if you did do safe play, no bad. If you get, like, Midas. Because you benefit quite... Oh, well, okay. That's a Corbin Ranger, then. I guess. If we're assuming a bad is pos 3, Wind Ranger's most likely to be a core, yeah. So, mid Wind Ranger. And then they still need a pos 1. They're saving their pos 1 till last. If, if they did put the Abaddon safe lane here, they could still flex the Wind Ranger and have it be either off lane or mid. Hmm. You have to play against I don't, Slark. I, I feel like with veteran drafting, though, I don't think it would be Abaddon no. <laughs> to one, but I would be very surprised if yeah. veteran has had some sort of like overnight. He likes his normal big picks. brain moment. Yeah, well, he's. Is... You have to get slowly more comfortable with your drafting style before you can deviate from it, and he's, you know, he's learning um, to pick a solid lineup, which I think is important. Ten seconds remaining. I feel like there's not a lot here that worse with Grim Zolt. You've got like Shackle Shot and that's about it. It's pretty much it, a Mist Coil. Yeah, but that, that gives them the opportunity to go with Grim Stroke, but it's going to oh. have to be your pause one, which is not usually the ideal role for that. Um, uh, Dyer ran out of time for their ban there, they missed one. Oh, that's fine, they don't need a ban. <laughs> yeah, I think what Drekken's saying in the chat is, is what's happening a lot. Ten you see Lich remaining. in the pool and you just pick Grim Stroke because you don't want them to have Lich Grimstroke, but really maybe they, they did want Grimstroke as well. Radiant already had two supports. Though. Oh yeah, that is true. That is true. As if they're going to go Lich Shadow Demon and Grimstroke, that wouldn't work, right? Because then you have to have one of those as a core, and that would be weird. What if his dire here? You go last pick Sven, and he just lanes Sven Grimstroke and just run at them. With Sven him as well. is all right against Slark, Mars, Lich. He's fine. Shadow Demon's a bit annoying because he's got a lot of control for the Sven, and you can defend your team with the disruption if they're about Five to stun you remaining. but i feel like yeah. sven does pretty well into slark sven's very tanky he has a lot of armor and he can kill slark very quickly oh i think it'll be a drow okay the best counter to slark really would be sort of faceless void but obviously that's not in the pool uh, terror blade is pretty good because he has so much armor also naga siren pretty good against slark i think illusion hero is not ideal Ten against shadow demon though uh, oh, they you've do. got to be careful because, yeah, he creates very strong illusions. That's remaining. a good point. Maybe they've covered themselves quite well. Radiant what are they going to finish off with? Sven! Sven yeah, there we Sven's go. Moving. Yeah, we predicted it. We knew it was going to happen. Kind of works for Grimstroke. Double stun. All right. Yeah. Not too bad. 
I want to see a spell axe flying at a uh, Grimstroke hole so he just bounces around. That's always fun to watch. Oh, yeah. You know the the shackle from Windranger? When yeah. um, it duplicates from Five the remaining. Uh, soul binds, does it uh, fire the shackle from oh. Windranger? So, so win one goes, f they both go from where Windranger is currently positioned. That's... Just wondering the angles. Not like you can predict both of them at the same time. But yeah, seeing oh, it in Volca. Oh, Belial in Volca. So there's a, is it mid in Volca still? Mid? Belial in Volca? I mean, Belial's pretty famous for playing Pos 4 in Volca. But I can't see a Shadow Demon core. Is that we're actually going to see Shadow Demon mid? I mean, it's, I used to play it. I used to try and play it. Never, <laughs> ever liked it because he just doesn't scale well. He's such a strong hero, but... What do you do with money? It's the same as Witch Doctor Mid. You're fed. Now what? Like, what do you buy? There's nothing he needs. Yeah. You can't so, buy auto attack items. You can't amp your spell damage with, like, Kaya Yasha, Shadow Demon. So, just drone with the Grim Stroke ult. I believe since it's a projectile, it'll launch it again Five from Wind Ranger's really. position once the first one has landed. Okay, that's what I thought. So, it's quite unlikely you're going to shackle both of them to two different trees, but I guess if you're in a forest, it might happen. Uh, well, I mean, if you're standing on the same side as them as you were, and there's trees behind both of them, I imagine it'll still hit both of them unless you move massively out of the way of the second tower here. Vale, Kaya, Yasha travels. Down went down, off lane Shadow Demon. Off lane Shadow Demon? Is he actually going to show us off lane Shadow Demon? No, we've got Mars. And it's Tim on Mars, and he likes his off lane. I would love to see mid invoker this game. I really would, but I just don't think it's going to happen because it doesn't seem like Belial's style. Yeah, but. Who knows? I thought I, I thought um, Dan said that if there's like lots of like ancients or more than one ancient on the team, one of them has to go support or something. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they'll show us uh, something pretty special. I do think there's Slark here. You might sh find it quite easy to dodge most of the stuns because they're all quite telegraphed. Yeah, it's in Volca mid. He's got shared time. <laughs> You can easily dodge Takiro's stuff and purge it off. Slark is very good against Takiro. Um, really? You can get rid of the shackle if you've got good reactions. Grimstroke stun is really obvious because it takes ages. Ten stun. Yeah, yeah, in fact, you're probably right. You can dodge pretty much everything on Slark if you're paying attention. There's nothing which instantly happens. Yeah, if he gets like a BKB, I think it's very hard for the Dyer to actually kill him. Hey, Unless, Toby, like... you're... Not, not Toby, it's... Uh, well, it is Toby. He's your fan, Brex, in chat. Oh, no. Your biggest fan. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> what happens if you use um, Dark Pact when Grimstroke is sending his Phantom Embrace at you? Does it just dis destroy it or not? It just ignores wow. it. Uh, it doesn't. I don't think you can dispel it since it's just a like a creep. It's an aura. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think the same is true for Weaver's bugs. Right, because they count as like auras constantly reapplying the debuff, and then you can't well, dispel it. Okay. I, I don't think it's an aura. I think it's just a creep that's attached to you and it's attacking you. But they count, you know, like Chronosphere is an aura. That's how it's coded. It's weird. But an aura means that. Oh, you, you can't mean Faces oh, Void then? Faces Void's uh, Like anything which is permanent, they've coded as an aura, so it's like reapplied all the time. Tim going so aggressive in this top lane. Did JC think he could actually deny that? That was cheeky. Noodles with the four stacks. Is he going to get a fifth stack? He's going for it. He actually lands five stacks. It's not going to kill him, but it does over 200 damage. I hear a sun strike. Oh, actually oh. lands. Tim finds a courier. How does he already find a courier? What could you be sending it? Like, instantly. Uh, maybe he was hiding the courier of a ward on it or something. Okay. Well, using sun strike at level one, it doesn't do a lot of damage. It's only 100 pure damage. But that has caused veteran to salve. Still. Which he is also all right. landed it. So. Was, yeah, really aggressive. I like that play, that was really cool. Nice one on the Radiant. Look at Tim, look at how aggressive he's playing. Just spamming Bulwark and right-clicking. I feel like maybe he could have gone a, uh, what do you call that? Blightstone or Orb of Venom? I like Orb of Venom on Mars, you have so much attack range, you can just keep hitting. Or Blightstone for high God's Rebuke damage. But he's gone for the Ring of Protection, the defensive play. I literally oh, wow. just went away from top yeah, and same. instantly JCA dies. Was that too many stacks of Shadow Poison? Uh, it looks like Noodles it. is completely stuck. <laughs> <laughs> he walked back like six times no, before realizing, oh, I actually need to go back. Five stacks of Shadow Poison. Noodles, you're kind of low. Get breathed on by Christian or JCA, rather. He's chasing yeah, him. He's doing a lot of damage. Oh. Now, Jewel Breath is gone. Two seconds, he's got it again. 
Let's follow this. Second dual breath. He's just going to TP out. Yeah, good play. He's TPing to the tower. He does have a salve. Uh, yeah, he's fine. He's, he has to use a tango and a salve, but that's okay. Because he got the first blood, he's got mana for boots. Mana, mana for boots? Money for boots. <laughs> I think <laughs> That's a beast. one thing I think Ollie has to be careful of is if he uses the star pack too early against the Abaddon and gets hit four times, then he can die quite easily. I'm sure he'll be paying attention though, right? Look at oh, this yeah. combo. The Slark Lich is a strong so combo. Damage. I was looking at the fight bot and it was really close, but there's just, another kill just top. Just keep your camera on top. But I mean, I need to look at bot. I should get split cam back up, honestly. I mean, this is aggressive, but Ollie. With Dokken on his team, you know, that's a really strong combo. I feel like Lich is sort of like Grimstroke. You put Frost Shield on a melee hero and they can just go in and they take so little right click damage back that they don't mind going aggressive. And it lasts six seconds. It's really good for Slark who likes to be in the fight for, you know, like an increasing amount of time. I just really want to see what items Ollie goes. And I, I'm sick of Slark's rushing Shadow Edge first item. I really want to see something else. It's just, it's such an expensive item that gives so little stats, and there's no one you even need to break. So, please uh, build another item, honestly. I mean, that's breaking. I mean, yeah, no, not really. I guess you can break a bad knob, but you can still activate it, so, like, it's not very. My concern with Silver Edge, right? I'm gonna look up the item, put it on chat. 6,100 gold. Hang on, Slark, hold that thought. Slark on. Oh, wow. Red. What was that about the uh, Hustle Burner stacks? So, <laughs> wow. So, Dokken was pulling. I guess they had a bit of miscommunication. I'm surprised that he got caught out of position. He's got no pounce. He's level two without pounce. I guess they knew that. Well, that's where they went to him. Yeah, I guess as soon as he hits them, because they already knew he had about at level one. I feel sad for them. You've trapped Max with a huge daddy long legs. What? Nice. What is Noodles doing? <laughs> Why is he uh, here? He, uh, he was trying to snipe the courier. Okay. The courier ward down. Fair enough. The, the one issue with the Shadow Demon, the way he's playing it right now, is he has no mana. He just had to buy three clarities to keep, keep it yeah, up. Yeah, I guess Shadow Poison is expensive if you use five stacks. Oh, and Disruption's 120. He's got absolutely no mana. He uses both oh, of them. Speed away. Yeah, doesn't connect. Nice. Stun. Okay. Not going to get a kill there. I think taking Ice Path at level 2 might be a little bit early. It doesn't oh, stun for very long. I, I, guess it, I guess your team has a lot of setup for it. Between uh, Sven Stun and Shao Shao. I heard a load of mangoes. Oh, I hear Sun Strike. Oh. Yeah, so Bilal have managed just to find the kill, but they've also got a kill for kill to care. It's going to be a fight to the death. He can't. He's he not got pounce. He can dive him. He's got yeah, he... shield on. Oh, he oh, just oh, gets oh, it oh. with. Mistcore? How much damage? Level 1 Mistcore? Uh, 120 damage? From level 1 Mistcore, why do people not get a single point of this? Oh, look at that double damage rune. Doing a lot of damage to Belial. Sunstrike? Yeah, no. Health regen. Oh, he's almost dead! He actually does oh, die to Belial! Wow. Oh, that's my spirit. Oh my god, this is too much happening, guys. Calm down. One thing at a time. Okay, so there was a fight bot. Belial managed to get a last hit, well, a kill with the Sunstrike. Ollie then dies also to Decaya, so doing well on that Abaddon. He's gone for Bracer and Wand. Then there was a kill mid, but Lama manages to find a kill even against double damage Windranger. Top lane is non-stop fighting. Noodles on the run. He's going to be okay. Absolutely no mana though, using his last clarity. So that bounty rune by the Dire Ancients, oh <laughs> the zero minute one was there a second ago. He just went back for it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see how Bilal plays Invoker. So he is committing to a normal Exhort build. He's got two Nulls and some Boots. I want to see, does he rush Travels? Does he rush Midas? Does he go um, Orchid first? Does he go Drums? There's so many ways you can play Invoker these days. I think the standard's Midas. But oh, yes, we've got the Grimstroke Inkswell versus Frost Shield. Rank 1 Pounce has a 20 second cooldown. Curse for Vernus, one hit to proc. There's the proc. Ollie science for a long time. He slowed. One more auto attack. Oh, that level 1 miscore is honestly MVP. 120 damage for 50 well, mana. It's, uh, oh my god, Decay much. dives the tower, gets a double kill. Is he going to be okay? He just yeah, about right. is. It's good to know that uh, it will kill, even though he's never really been in an in-house, that he's embraced the tipping. Because he tipped all <laughs> Did he? Okay. Yes. Uh, he's got a level 1000 compendium, you know. He's, he's certainly been playing this game. Mine's like 380. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, okay, Bilal's winging oh, in last hits, but Ollie's, okay, I... Ollie's zero, 3 one I thought Ollie had a good lane here. It looked like it was going pretty well. Decay <laughs> just ended up popping his ult on the creeps. I'm not yeah, sure that he was just, intentional. Yeah, he, he, he just leveled it on 200 health and then took one creep hit. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> okay, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, Ollie's only level 4. Decay is level 6, and he's got a level 4 Grimstroke with him, so Ollie is struggling. Pounce has a 20 second cooldown at rank 1. That is a very, very long cooldown. You know, you pounce in, which he did, but they just run at you. Curse of Avernus, auto attacks, ink swell, you're dead. So Ollie's got a bit of uh, catching up to do this game. Yeah, you said it's probably quite unlikely that he'll get cursed, but it's happened twice already, I think. Yeah, it has. I mean, one point curse is, I guess, makes sense to level it up, right? Because it's always a um, same sec same duration silence. Yeah. And yeah, he's getting it off. So <laughs> that's pretty good. Oh, Sunstrike awesome. gets oh. another kill. Belial on point nice. with the Sunstrikes. Wow. Bilal was that just popping off on this mid lane invoker, but now he's been shackled. He does have the ability to go invis, and there's no dust. You should always carry a dust when you're playing against invoker mid. I reckon I would have gone for the full dive there. But uh, I, he doesn't have dust. Decaya finds himself another kill. Jack already has the javelin, actually. That was doing a lot of damage to the invoker. It was doing a lot. Yeah, Bilal's Some... playing pos 2 invoker, proper invoker. <laughs> I mean, the odds are in the Radiance t team's favor, right? Because they're, like Karen said, they're the team who all play together. They don't have people who've never played in houses before, and they have two of the Divines. So, you know, hopefully they can show us some big plays. I mean, Tim's the, the Tim Noodles lane has been strong. Bilal's doing well. It's Ollie who's struggling a little bit down bot. It's both carries by the looks of it. Neither of them have massive amounts of last sets. Although yes. one has more, a lot more than I than the other. Oh, Ollie. doing a lot of damage to Veteran. That's a fun little combo. Veteran's taking a lot of damage. Sunstrike. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Serpentine. He's going to be fine. But there's a kill bot. Looks like yeah, there was there a was. gank from Jack. It will kill no, on a Kingsbury. No, Jack's already just turned up after they got the oh, kill. Oh, really? It was Grim and Abaddon again. Jack yeah. is level 7. So is Decaia. Decaia doesn't have his ult. He's got to be careful. He has used his shield. Shield blows up. Kills Belial. Now we're slapping Ollie. Look at the cooldown of Pounce. It is so long. Ollie damaging himself. Oh, the javelin last hit. Oh, I feel like you should be maxing Pounce this lane, honestly. I don't know. Something. Something's not going right here. I guess his logic was to match the Q so he could purge more often because of the... Uh... The Jakiro. Tim is going to go for the ult. No, he doesn't go for the ult. He probably could have done, but it doesn't matter. He's going to get the kill anyway. Or Noodles will. Tim, he's on the run. He's got his phase boots, he's fast, only level 3 on JCA. Right, this is a really awesome. intense game because the Radiant are doing so well in the top lane, but the Dire are doing so well in the bottom lane. So it's it's basically the off-lane gods, is what we're going to say. Look, <laughs> 405 Decay, he is popping off. Remember, this guy is not even a Legend 1, so he is punching way above his MMR. Let's be honest there. Smurf. <laughs> Smurf, yeah. He's definitely not a Smurf. <laughs> or if he is, he's hiding it. Well, hiding it? Hid it. Hide. <laughs> uh, he's hiding it very well. Hid it, hid it, hid it. Um, whereas we've got we've got four one Grimstroke and four zero uh, Abaddon, but then we do have a three zero Shadow Demon, and we've got a three one Invoker. So it's, you know it's still anyone's game. Oh look at poor oh, no. Noodles, he is being followed. They drop both the stuns at the same time. He's, he's just gonna still. Oh. Is he gonna burn to death? Yes, he is. Yeah, he is. He's gonna burn to death. We find a courier as well. Jack finds a courier. He's That's got promising. Max Shadow Poison build for damage is interesting. So I guess he just really wants the spam. Well, like, when your lane's going that well, I think you probably want to commit. He's right. also pos 4, so... I... Yeah, I don't feel like uh, maxing Dark Pact is right if you're in a lane that's that aggressive. You want to max one of the others. Tim drops his ult, takes JCA. He's only a level 5 Jakiro, man. Have some mercy on him. The K is legit going under the tower. He's taking quite a few bounces though. That's three bounces he's taken, but who cares? I've got an ult. And bam, his shield explodes. Level 9 Abaddon. Unbelievable. This lane is ridiculous. Grimstroke Abaddon. I mean, Grimstroke is so tanky. Uh, not tanky there. Abaddon is so tanky. Is so tanky. <laughs> I need to think about words before I say them today. Grimstroke <laughs> just enables the Abaddon to run in, and he can shield himself, and he's tanky, and he's got Curse of Avernus. He's a, this is actually a great lane combo. Maybe I should maybe I should learn about an off lane because I always play off laners who have stuns because I like to engage fights. Yeah. But maybe I've been doing it wrong. 
Maybe I should be uh, playing these sort of supporty, tanky heroes. Like a baton. Save your team I mean, instead. I mean, you don't actually have to play it offlane. You can play it four or five as well. Yeah, but I don't really play that role. <laughs> so, <laughs> I only play it, I, I play it when I need the roll tokens. <laughs> and sometimes I get mid lane, you know? I queue all five rolls for the roll Maybe tokens and I still get mid. They're going to drop the ult as well, or not? Oh. I thought we would have dropped ult noodles, to be honest. Oh, but they missed the spear. Maybe he thought that was going to land. Maybe his bottom tower was always the weakest tower. This game is all over the place, honestly. Decay is at the top of the net worth currently. What well, is he going to build on a bad one? That's interesting. So he has gone phase boots. So is not committing for the mech. Blads drum by the looks of it. Did he finish the full Blads? Yeah, full uh, Blads is already here. Yeah. Blads drum. I feel like you should have gone the other order for that, do you not think? <laughs> Uh, like drum, so drum is better than Vlad's in the early game, but it's still, you know, he's gonna be a uh, tanky support. I guess you quite like the Basilius uh, mana regen. Yeah, but maybe just get Bassy then. Yeah. That ice wall did not connect, unfortunately, Bilal. Nice try, though. I mean, he's gonna be enabling Sven, right? Giving him the Vlad's, giving him the drum. Maybe he'll go some other nice items to help Sven out. Now the thing is, uh, Veteran and Ollie are both just farming it up, right? But Slark is no way near as good as farming as a Sven. It's just not even comparable, right? Slark no. has to spam Dark Pact, Sven just cleaves everything to death. Slark can't take Ancient Stack, Sven can. This really needs to be stacked over and over and over if you want your Sven to win. Oh, dive in the left. There's a Silence. Oh, it's Silence into Silence combo as well, isn't it? And Tim, he drops the arena, keeps all three heroes in it. He actually lands the spear, but it doesn't quite go far enough. I'm surprised. Right, so Ollie's just farming it up. ACA getting a bit of XP, veteran farming. I feel like as a BBGS stack, you know, players in general, we're really bad at stacking and farming the Ancients. Like, it needs to be prior number one if you've got a core like Sven and you're behind. You've got to stack those Ancients as many times as you can. I don't know oh, why you're going on to care. He is a level 10 of bad, and he is... Absolutely not going to die. He's not the type you want to kill, but Ollie, he's come in. He might find a kill. Yes, he does. He's taking a lot of damage from Jack. Never mind Shadow Dance. Is this That's a chance right. to kill Decay? That was a little bit too far ahead. Almost perfect. There's a kill. Oh, the tornado doesn't quite land. Oh, Veteran's in. Ahead. He's slapping you. Oh, oh, nice oh, play from Noodles. They just have so much control for him. Bilal is trying to get the kill. He does with the cold snap. Veteran, though, he is slapping up Bilal. Doesn't have his own dust because, well, he's never fought in Vogel before. Yeah, Decay did just sort of kill himself. But he uh, missed coil to reduce his own health, and then he got popped by the Shadow Poison. Yeah, and the, the cold snap also hurting yeah. him quite a lot. I think he actually died to the damage of the, the uh, Shadow Poison when he purged it, because it applies before the shield, actually, to the shield. Oh, that's been the whole snap for that, I guess. Okay. Okay, here's a stat for you, Jerome. Uh, uh, so, uh, oh yeah, I, I am muted on muted. Steam. All right. I actually got muted in a way that I've never done before. It was not my mic or my uh, stream deck. It was my actual stream. Oof. That's interesting. <laughs> what uh, that Jerome, I was going to say, here's a stat for you. So, start. Oh. Oh, top. Yeah, there's, they, the four-man collapse on JCA. He's gone. Right, the stat? <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, Slark has been picked into a bad three or four times now, and it's got a zero percent win rate in that matchup in Indian houses. Yeah, he didn't win the lane, did he? No. Well, the idea is you win the lane because you just hit him to fly through the shield, but but then it's not the grim strokes there. Yeah. The funny thing is, I think you are the one who started it because you are like you're known for being the Abaddon player, Brex. Everyone knows that, right? And you used to say, "Ah, oh, Slark is really good against Abaddon." So I feel like we've just been endlessly picking it into it over and over. I think you were playing the long con. Well, I think Slark's meant to win that lane most of the time, unless the support's a good matchup for, against the Slark. But I don't think Slark's necessarily against Abaddon in the game. 
Because as long as you're with your team, it's quite hard to, 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 to actually kill you. Yeah, Baden just always has a high win rate, so it doesn't matter. He's just, <laughs> he's just a good hero, right? I mean, because it's safe. It's the way we play Dota. We're not aggressive enough when it comes to engaging, so we don't get, I think, as much value out of heroes who have big stuns as we do heroes who can save allies. I feel like we get a lot more out of that. Maybe in the higher MMR plays, it's, it can be a little bit different. Oh, we pop the ult and it will kill. Nice Shackle though, I think he'll be okay. Yep, Shadow Poison's about to run out, and it does. Only two stacks of Shadow Poison. But I think it was uh, Demonic Purge is about to run out. How much damage does it do? Not a huge amount, 300. But Tim is in, bit of a fight kicking off. They're trying to go on Decay, but Decay still has his ult. I don't think you're gonna kill him. No, you certainly aren't. Uh... No, his ult has propped. They are hitting him a little bit. Ollie's like, do I steal stats? Well, they're doing a lot of damage to him. Noodles is oh. going to go down. Okay, they do finally pick up Decay, so it is worth it. Okay, so Ollie is going the uh, Echo Saber Shadow Blade build. So I thought Echo Saber is fine, but Shadow Blade, I, I just feel like rushing Silver Edge. I mean, maybe if you're against a Spectre or a Bristleback or someone you desperately need to disable. But when there's no passives worth disabling, there's literally one. What are, the, what are the passives in the game? Great Cleave uh, and, and Curse of Awareness. A bad an ultimate as well. And his ult. Um, fine, but I don't. I feel like if you're playing Slark, I want to see Diffusal Blade and Drums and like items that make you powerful early. I, I don't want to see 6,100 gold committed to an item which gives like 40 damage and 45 attack speed. To me, it's just such a waste. I want a Diffusal Blade I like because it's 40 damage, 40 mana burn, which becomes 36 damage or 32 damage, something like that. I think it's, it's 32 damage and 20 uh, AG and 10 mana, and it's a slow. The mana burn's quite good against a bad and Sven as well because they both have quite small mana pool. I guess Shadow Blade is good for pickoffs, but then just buy a Shadow Blade, honestly. Like, look at Shadow Blade. It's half the cost of Silver Edge. It gives you quite a lot of stats, actually, more than half the stats, and it, it's the same damage on proc. I feel like if you really want to get pick-offs on Slark, just build a Shadow Blade. I guess because you want the Echo Saber as well. I, I don't know. I mean, it's fine. Silver Edge Slarks still do very well, right? It's just my opinion that 6,100 gold for your first item when it gives no damage, I'm not a fan. It feels like there's a lot of items the Slark needs this game. I think you need like a Scardy or something because of the amount of heals they're going to have. Yes, you so are you, right. You, you get, you're going to need an MKB for the Wind Ranger. You're probably going to want a Vessel at some point. Yeah, it's it's not an easy game, is it? I just don't know how he's going to get there in time is the issue. Yeah, the problem with Slark is he's not a farming hero. If you have a look at the farm now, it's it's a lot more even now. It's 12 to 14 in kills. Okay, Dyer have a slight lead because now veterans actually managed to overtake everyone, which is good because he is their core and he has been given space. Okay, still very high up there, but Bilal's doing pretty well. He has gone for the Orchid build. Nullifier does not work against BKB though, does it? So like, if they've already BKB, Nullifier is pointless. Doesn't do, okay. you, you can't activate it on them. I'm gonna be right back for a bit. So I need to on my computer, so I'll be right back. All right. I haven't seen Orchid Invoker in a very long time. I played against I a level 25 Invoker in a pub, and he absolutely dominated Being everyone, attacked. and he did go Orchid. So, I mean, maybe okay. it's still a good item. Yeah, he absolutely wrecked us. He was level 25 invoker, you know, go to plus. And oh, I, see. I, I laned against him. My lane went well, and then he just won the game. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Good lane, bad game for me. Okay, instant disruption. Very nice play. Dokken is being chased. He gets shackled. Jack's going to commit the ult. He kills him so fast. MKB already up on the Wind Ranger. I mean, that's the key item for Wind Ranger, right? As soon as you got the MKB, that's it. That's all you need for probably the next, what, three or four items? Now you can get Blink, BKB, um, Ags, and then finally you can pick up another damage item. But you're good for damage for like half the game now. Yeah. It was like that one time when I was with Major, had the MKB and I had a power cut and we won the game because I just had an MKB. Oh yeah, I was using you. Like, I, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. <laughs> the whole game I just send you in and press R. Like, All right, cool, that's a kill. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. I actually really enjoyed trying to play two heroes at once. I had them on different control groups. There's a bit of a fight breaking out. Looks like we're going to go on the Grimstone. It will kill. He will go down. Okay. That, I mean, this is exactly what the Radiant should be looking for at this point. Full pickoffs. JC8. He's been found. There's a sentry there. Okay, Ollie misses the pounce because of the spear. That's going to be another kill. 
veteran's like, well, no, I'm just going to farm. I want to get my Aghanims, which is fair enough. Tim's gone for his standard build, Vlad's into Blink Dagger, but picking up a Soul Ring as well. Bilal is building a Yules, I think, next. Is that standard for Tim as an offlaner or on Mars? On Mars. I don't think he goes Vlad's first on all heroes. He plays offlane. He definitely does on uh, Mars because Mars needs the lifesteal. And I think if you're playing an offlaner and you want lifesteal, you might as well just finish the Vlad so your team benefits. Ah, oh, a little bit late, Ollie. Close. Do you know what item I really liked on Slark? I thought it's amazing, but no one ever builds it. And Ollie, of yeah. all people, I thought would buy it. No, Diffusal's great. But Bags. What, exactly, Ollie's favourite item. It's so good on Slark. It doubles the range of your pounds. Um, well, not double, 50% more range on the pounds. And you get two charges. You can just be in a fight, pounce in, get a kill. Oh, fight's going Ow. by, pounce out. I'm <laughs> At a thousand one hundred pounds range, it's almost a blink dagger. It's ridiculous the range at which you connect onto people, but I just don't feel like it's popular anymore. Well, yeah, I, I, has it has it always been popular? No, at some I, point it used to be popular, but I don't know what happened. I, I'm still a fan. It gives ten I damage. What are you talking about, Toby? Ten Aji, huge. I'm never sure how you're supposed to itemize Slark because do you build damage? I mean, he's a core, but he has damage built in when he hits from Essence Shift. Oh, Tim is behind the entire team. He gets a three-man, a three-man arena in which he hits the spear on absolutely nobody, <laughs> and he goes down. Oh dear, Tim. There were three heroes to choose from. Doing that under. I'm not sure his team are ready to go in. Unless you can see the die, they're just chasing him down. Ollie, he's using his shadow blades. I think he's going to be fine. He went way too deep there. I mean, maybe he overestimated yeah. himself just a little bit. Did he think he'd get some like mega spear insta kill someone under the tower, then his team would turn up? I think so. I think so. Yeah, he went too far. <laughs> Decay is going Sven Axe. Now. Okay, Sven has the Axe. But yeah. Decay is also building Axe. Now, I'm trying to think. A bad nags is pretty good. I guess if Lich ult is bouncing around and Mars is doing loads of damage in the arena, you just pop your ult. You're going to spam heal them. Yeah. Maybe against invoker combos as well. Because it can insta-kill like... Oh. Well, it's good against AoE damage. That's sort of the main use of it. Like if lots of your team are taking damage from many sources at once, you just press your ult and you'll be healing all of them constantly. Our meteor ticks quick. They're fairly quick, aren't they? Point one, point two. I'm not actually sure. They're going on to Kea. He does have his ult, of course. He's going to be healed up again. Tim, he is here. They found Veteran. But Veteran, he's no pushover. Is he going to commit his ult? He's not sure. There's a lot going on here. Veteran, he's just trying to run. He's like, no. Oh, he's going to pop his ult. He gets speared away. Tim actually saves oh. Veteran. I'm not sure what the ult was for. Maybe he's thinking maybe we'll have to turn. He's going to use Warcry, giving himself that move speed. He gets disrupted. This is a combo. Nice shackle shot, though, and silence on Tim. So Tim doesn't manage to get the spear off, but they've still found enough to kill Veteran. Sinister Gaze from Dokken. Big play. Getting the pause one. That is important. Out comes a nice stun macro bar from JJ. Look how much damage the support's taking. Grimstroke ult locked them in place. Both of them going down. Huge power shot. And now we've got the, we've got the Blink Dagger. We're chasing. Can't find Bilal. Tree happens to be there, and we're going to kill Dokken. What an amazing okay. fight from the Dyer. So they did lose Veteran, who is their pos one, but they had to commit absolutely everything to kill him. And then the Dyer just turned around and wiped the whole team. The net worth of the, of the Avatar is third. I mean, that is really impressive. It's a mean, situation, isn't it, where all cores are almost exactly the same net worth? Yep. <laughs> I like it. Even all the supports, everyone has exactly the same net worth. It's it's pretty impressive, actually. I like it. Yeah, this Abaddon is just popping off. I guess Brex isn't the only person who can be proficient at this hero. What a good lane he had as well. 4-0 yeah, in the lane Amazing stage. lane. Although I don't understand why he's not moving his point booster like to replace like, the Quelling Blade or something. Because he wants that 12 damage for farming, obviously. See? Now he's going to swap it uh, right now, yeah? Now. I see, I see. And then he'll swap it in now. <laughs> okay, it, he's forgotten. Oh no, the whole Axe is here. Will he swap the oh, Axe in? Or... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, oh, still wants the Quelling Blade, still wants the Quelling Blade. No, he's like, I need to farm. Look, Quelling Blade's better than Axe. Oh, he's done it. He's done okay, it. he's finally done it, right. The Dyer have used the scan, but I don't know why, because it doesn't look like they're planning to smoke. Ollie's gonna be fine. 
He's just going to slither away. Oh, we've got a smoke behind Dolly. Shadow Blade used. They're just going to run straight into Roche. No, they're checking it. Oh, shit. They found Wind Ranger, but... Oh, there, they've got it. He does land the spear. Nice spear from Tim. Really patient with that. But Veteran is here. He's trying to do a lot of damage. Nice tornado holding them in place. He's going to get one kill with the slap. He's going on to Bilal. Inkswell doesn't land on anyone. Ollie's trying to do what damage he can. He's going to get a kill. Oh, no. It will kill. Almost does. Actually, doesn't. No, it does. Lands the pounce. Tim is here. Start on to JCA. JCA is going to go down. Right, we still got Veteran with his ult and Decay. So it's a pretty strong combo. And we've seen Ollie. Waiting for the, the... Oh, yeah, there it is. He's got the eggs. I thought he was just waiting for the Dark Pact. Just does it at the right time. Gets a triple kill. So it's a three for three fight. Look at the gold exchange. There's almost no difference at all. I mean, maybe that's just the last bit of the fight, actually. I think I missed the first one. Yeah, but a pretty intense fight. I think the Dire are, yeah, really starting to assert their dominance now. And yeah. that fight was a very good example. No one came close to killing Veteran. Oh, they're going on him. Oh They've got the combo. They've dispelled him. Decay is trying to do his best, but they are going to bring Veteran down. Really good play from the Radiant, immediately reacting and getting a kill on Veteran. Not letting them even touch the Tier 2 tower. Decay is pretty fast. Nice dodge on the Tornado. They blink in. They've got no vision. They're still chasing. Yours has gone up. Yeah, and the Ghost uh, Ice Wall. They're doing a lot of damage to Decay. He doesn't have his ult because he used it to try and save our his Jack. Gets the shaft, does a lot of damage to Blau. Blau's just sitting in the Macropire. Macropire, this game, has done so much damage. Noodles, he's going to get chased down. And so is Tim. So an immediate fight back. They killed Veteran again and lost their whole team. This is literally deja vu. Yep. Put everything onto Veteran and then forget <laughs> that the rest of the team are actually pretty strong. Oh, there's a bit of a chase here. They, they do have dust. Not going to use it. I wonder if it's at this point where one it's very like one sided on one team. I mean it's like ten K to the Dire, but you know, Radiant has taken kills on the Dire, but I don't think it's done enough to like swing it the other way or swing it even. So, but Well the Radiant it? are still reasonably strong. If you look at the difference in all the cores net worth, it's only like a th like Ollie's only two thousand behind, right? Two thousand is nothing. Bilal's only one thousand five hundred behind. It's it's very small differences at the moment. It's just spread across everyone in the team is a few thousand behind. That's why it's eleven k difference. I think it's better this way. What's worse is when there's a hero who's like eight k net worth ahead, and then you can't bring him down. That's more of a problem. See, Veteran's only 352. His score doesn't look very good, but he's still having a lot of impact and he's he's farmed. I mean, who cares if your score's 352 if you're top net worth, right? That's the only thing that really matters at the end yeah. of the day, how much gold you've got. Oh, so the fight mid. No detection. Well, I'll need some detection. Glimmer Cape, very good to save yourself. to steal the outpost okay it's an outpost trade outpost for outpost and yeah, they're all chasing jack but jack is long gone oh, very slow tp because he went to the outpost bit risky he's going for the standard wind ranger build get your mkb then get blink then get bkb then ags i assume or he'll go daedalus if he wants more damage we'll see i'm a big fan of ags so it makes wind ranger so hard to kill she's so fast but then if you get Shadow Demon ult, it doesn't matter. So. True. Okay, we've seen Ollie. A bit of a fight going on. Lots of pings. Jack, he's used Blink. Oh no, he's used Blink. He gets speared. He's going to go straight down. Nice play from Tim. Tornado goes out. It's not quite going to reach anyone. Wow, that's a lot of range on that Tornado. Turns out Bilal's a pretty good mid player after all. He was he was ancient, so I think he I think he is a decent player. Oh, he definitely is a decent player, but it's nice to see people play roles they're not used to. Yes, and it, true, it kind of true. proves that like just because I play support all the time doesn't mean I I don't understand the mid lane. I can't, you know, still be effective at it. Yeah. 
which Very I quite true. like. I feel like if you're a good player, you can play any role to some extent. Maybe not as well, but still, still well. I mean, my supporting is pretty bad, but it's I would it's not like a legend level. <laughs> I'd still be, you know, decent enough in a divine game. Just not my ideal role. But yeah, Bilal's doing really well. He used to play a lot of mid. Okay. He just hasn't played it for a while. Bilal is here. Is he going to use Sunstrike? Meteor. Okay, he just goes for Ghost Wall. If I was him, maybe Meteor Sunstrike. But he just wants to play careful. A lot of TP's back. I think they see uh, some lanes that need defending and they all decide to go back. They don't quite want to fight into the entire Dire team at this point, which is fair enough. Bilal went for the tornado cooldown at 20 rather than the alacrity. Okay. I'm I mean, that's, sure which, which that's fair enough. More. It depends how much you use alacrity. If you alacrity yourself a lot, the reason I tend to do it is um, get the alacrity. is because once you're around that level on Invoker level 20, lots of heroes have BKB. And so alacrity becomes a good spell because then you can just right click people. Right click, yeah. yeah or you can pop it on your core. And it's pretty good on a Slark, right? 40 more attack speed and damage. But if you're spamming Tornado a lot, like if you have to defend your base, for example, because uh, the cooldown of Tornado is um, like 30 seconds, the bringing it down to 22 is quite a buff when you're defending your base. But yeah, I do prefer Alacrity. Hey, okay, Sunstrike Roche. They know it's up. We've got Enchanted Quiver on Rindranger. Makes our first hit very deadly. When are they going to take Roche? I feel like Roche should have at least been tried to... Look good. I think they are thinking about it. Sunstrike and now a scan there, but I feel like, you know, maybe there should have been... Yeah, it's the first Roche, isn't it? On like, earlier, yeah. Literally yeah, the first Roche. Taken yet. <laughs> wow. Yeah, what are you doing, guys? Take the Roche. On. I guess there have been a few opportunities like when they won a team fight they could have all just run into Roche but maybe they've tried to prioritize towers instead so they can claim the outposts but now that the tier twos are down mm. there's really no excuse to just take Roche unless you think you can push high ground I mean the Dire are stronger than the Radiant right the Dire should just run in and take Roche I mean they might be a little Double bit damage. Than Mars. I mean that's the perfect right well not anymore because Nubus took it <laughs> It would have been, it would have been. Evans harbored on Mars. It's alright against Sven. Blah has his Ags, has Yules. Going for an interesting build. Yules, Blink, Ags, and Orchid. Okay, Ollie, he's pinged the entire enemy team. He maybe thinks they're going to smoke, and I don't think they saw him. That's good scouting for Molly. He has gone Silver Edge into Sanjin Yasha and now Abyssal Blade. So he's not opted for BKB, which I think might be a mistake when this Jakira is making such massive plays. You see, JCA has been so good. Here comes the Shackle. Going straight on Super Noodles. There it is. Spear does nothing. Cataclysm is going to pop. Does quite a lot of damage to Wind Range. I think Jack's still going to be okay, though. Tim's hiding in the Roche Pit. Does manage to blink out. Out comes a Tornado. Just catches Decaya. But now they're going to go roast. They only have one kill. But they're like, that's enough. I've got God's strength up. I'm going to take... Oh, veteran knows he can see outside. Doesn't get speared into anything. There's a buyback been used. Okay, I'm back. And he supermans oh, in. Oh instantly God. gets a kill on Dokken. He's popped his BKB. He's still got plenty of time on God's strength. It lasts so long, this spell. Oh, yeah. Try and use your, your ult on me, Shadow Demon. Who cares? I can just, you know, superman in. Instantly kill you. And that's a dieback as well. He's used the Demonic Purge. Thought he could control the Sven. There's a die. It's another buyback. Interesting that they've they've chosen to still commit to this. I mean, Veteran doesn't have his ult anymore. So maybe they think it's worth fighting. But Oli didn't really want to commit to that fight. He said, yeah, I'm just going to farm. I don't think we're winning that. Meteor's going in. Not quite going to connect with anyone. Have we used EMP yet? No, EMP's going down. Oh, but Veteran, he's got the vision. Nice Frost Armor, though, keeping him alive. Now he's in this. Out comes the arena. 
JCA, he's going to go down. No, he's on 1 HP. He's alive. Photic Shield is keeping him alive. Veteran tries to stun through the, the arena, but he can't. But now Oli, look how much damage he's taking from Jack. Jack just immediately kills Oli. Huge damage. Shackle, it does miss with a power shot. But Decay, he's going to chase Dokken. He actually goes down. Dokken finds a kill on Decay. It will kill. He's chasing him. Does manage to get the stun off. Yeah, Tim blinked around the back end for Roche Pit and sniped each hero. Uh, it was very clutch there. That's yeah, big plays from Dyer. I think Veteran has just learned an interaction he probably didn't expect. You can't use your Stormhammer through Mars's arena. That was really, really careful play from Jack, though. He waited until Ollie had used everything. Then he went in and just got the kill on him using his ult. I think it was quite unfortunate from Tim. He was like three mana short on Spear when he oh went no. into the arena. We're going on the Wind Ranger. We've got a lot on him. Spear. He's going to go down. He's dead. Yeah. You see how powerful the Demonic Purge is. He just couldn't do anything. And Jack speak if he was on cooldown. They still haven't taken Roche. No. What is going on? Look how many people are dead. Just everyone is... Oh, yeah. Everyone is dead the whole time. Like, okay, it's time for Roche. Nope, buyback. Oh, no, there's a fight. Oh, no, he got picked off. <laughs> Like, at what point are we actually going to take it? Like, Tim is just sitting in the pit like Guardian of Roche. Do they miss any big players, by the way? <laughs> um, there's been quite a lot of fighting. I mean, look yeah. how many kills there are. 37 like minute it. game and there's, what, 56 kills? Oh, into the Roche pit. Alacrity. Okay. They know it's there. Do they have damage? Only 2,000 health. Uh, yeah. I can't believe Dyer are going to lose this Roche after all of that. Oh, After okay. constantly being oh, ahead. Why did I kill it? It's so low. What? Yeah, Wait, well, they're Ollie. going to kill it now. Oh, oh he takes it. And now we're going in. Tim's trying to look for a kill. Not going to find it. Oh. I can't believe the Radiant took the Roche after all. They had a di they had two diebacks, I think. And they still got the Roche. Now we're going on Veteran. Veteran, he pops his ult. He's trying to do what damage he can. Superman's in, dispels the yours. He is taking a lot of damage from Ollie, though. Tries to kite around. I think he's going to be okay. Tim's used the arena, keeping them in place. Shadow Demon Disruption as well. Ollie's on the hunt. Veteran, he's trying to live. No, he uses his stun. He's got quite a lot of healing. He doesn't do any damage to him. He dodges the God's Rebuke. That's the huge play. It's going to keep Veteran alive. He's in the Mask of Madness. We can't use the stun. Jack's doing a lot of damage to Ollie. Ollie's Aegis is already gone. Out comes the stun. I think Ollie might die. Maybe not. He's healing up a little bit. Dokken throws out his ult. He is bouncing hard. Dokken's trying to keep himself alive with the Glimmer Cape. You can see him off screen. I'm trying to follow Jack at the moment. And Ollie is going to get away. I don't know if you saw how Ollie died the first time, but it was to an, a Grimstroke Ag's illusion. Oh, I didn't see the, the Grimstroke Ag's illusion. It, it, it just killed him from like half health. Because it, yeah, it has a lot of Agi because the Slark has hands. I mean, it's got, it's spell immune. It does 150% damage and it's got 30% yeah. more move speed. I guess it only lasts 15 Radiant seconds, but what a ridiculous spell Dark Portrait is. And the fact that you can yeah. kill two of them. Holy I hell. I love, love... Grimshaw Ags. I think it's underbought, to be honest. Oh, the really, Terror Blade. There's, there's not really a great second target if you manage to solve I, I always get Grimshaw Ags when there is an anti mage on the opposite team. So oh, create some <laughs> mega trying to just murder yeah, the enemy team. Yeah, I've gotten like triple kills before with just that illusion. It's so good. They did need a nerf, didn't they? They made it take more damage because when it first came out, it was like invincibly tanky as well. One thing I don't think we considered is the Shadow Demon making illusions to the Abaddon means you can get uh, Curse of Verse on someone almost instantly because you've got two procking at the same time. So why don't you go Manta on core Abaddon? Uh, I mean, you could. You, like, could like, Radiant, really you could go like Radiant's Manta, I suppose. Yeah, that seems pretty good. But I, okay. I don't think you really so, Dyer actually yeah. didn't take the racks. Even though the range racks is literally one hit from being killed, they just left it. So like, they, Yeah, they did have to use a repair kit, though. Bit of a fight going on between both pos ones. Veteran's level 25 though, but he doesn't want to use God's strength, so he's just going to leg it like Seer. He knows that a long fight against Slark's a bad idea. He's got very low armor compared to Slark. Even when he uses Warcry, his armor's still pretty low. Oh, well done, Tom. Proud of you. Okay, yeah, now that Ollie's got a Minotaur Horn, I don't know how the Dyer kills him that easily. Because he can purge one stun, and the next one will just be blocked by the magic community. Well, he's got mana for... Um, what mana? Why oh, I keep saying mana? He's got money mana. for um, BKB. BKB yeah. yeah, so he's yeah. going to have BKB and mana to horn, which is 12 seconds of immunity if he really wants to. The uh, Abaddon's got a Whitler Shaco now, so he has 4,000 health. That's pretty good. He's got Shivas as well, so he has plenty of mana. Otherwise, you can't really afford it. 
<laughs> I don't know about him. Yeah. Because he didn't go Arcane Boots or Guardian Greaves, he went for, um, uh, he went for his Phase Boots. I guess, I guess the Axe helps. Yeah, it does a little bit too. I like the Sheevers. He's going to Sheevers Assault Curse. That's going to be a lot of armor on this boy. Dire winning. Yeah, Dire are winning, but Radiant are still holding in there, still getting pick off, still winning some fights. You can see that it's not a smooth straight line for Dire, it's a very bumpy line, but they are generally winning. I do think with a good like arena cataclysm they could do quite a lot of damage in the team fight. Yeah, I think Bilal needs to, to do a little bit more of his late game combos. If he can get the cataclysm, you know, meteor deafening blast on key targets, he definitely can kill most of the um, Dire team. I think the biggest issue is going to be the BKBs, because they can just walk out of the arena right now. I think they do need like, an Abyssal on an Ollie or something like that to hold them in place. It's if Tim can go Blink Arena Spear quick enough before they can react, and then they throw a Cataclysm on top, it's going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. Right, did they know that they... Did they? I think they may have had I Vision. don't know. I'm not sure the oh. die know. Uh, apparently oh. Jack With Super Noodles decided to disrupt him. He's not going to get his BKB off. Nice use. Have the Sinister Gaze, he's going to get away. No, he's not, because he's going to be ulted. Grimstroke, oh, it's gone off. Look at these illusions. They're doing so much damage to Ollie and Tim. The two illusions, the Slark one, it's just hitting so hard. What are they going to do about it? They've got the Crimson Guard. Tim went had it's to go that now. against the Dark Portrait. Oh, and here comes Veteran. Massive stun right into the face of Belial. There is okay, he gets ulted again. Now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. He's keeping everyone in place with his Demonic Purges, but he goes for a stun on Ollie. Tim he does pop the arena. Okay, he uses the spear. The veteran, he's chasing. He's got stun. He actually finds Tim with it. Look at the range of that 2,000 damage crit. Oh, I wasn't reading the numbers right. That seemed pretty big. He's got his Daedalus. And now another stun. This right clicks Dokken. You're, um, you're invulnerable during Sven's Axe, right? I assume so. Like, you can't be disrupted, can you? Mm, I don't think so. You know, you can't be targeted. But I don't know if you've got something already on you. So that was a very yeah. interesting fight. They did manage to kill Windranger almost instantly, but then Veteran just came in and just smacked you in the face, and that was it. Is he? Okay, that's a good play from Molly. They have backdoor still. Well, they might find another kill, that's the important thing. Nah, no, disjointed with the invisibility. But out comes the sentry right under your tower. Noodles will go down. They can't take this rest though. Yeah, but doors. they've got look how look how much time they have. I think they should just they're, they're starting to ping top. Though. Yeah, let's just let's just take top. We're wasting our time here. <laughs> if they had God Strength, they could do it because what's God Strength now? Two hundred and sixty percent damage. Yeah, I know. The isn't the cast range of this ability just absurd? It's look at the cast range. Wait, let's have a look. Look, oh, it's like a yeah, it needs to be nerfed or something. I so. hate the cast range of that move so much. Same. It's speaking of cast range, I haven't seen a, a Slark Axe bit bought in a while. Yeah, we actually just had a discussion about Slark Axe. Yeah. And I think it's a really good item for Slark, but Slarks tend to avoid it. Whereas Sven, he's a POS 1, and he definitely goes Axe, even though it doesn't give many stats. But I think maybe Sven gets so much damage from God's Strength, he doesn't need to itemize more damage straight away, whereas Slark does? Or or can he get away with the nags? I don't know. I like Axe in it. Tim, he's tried to find JCA. Is he going to kill him? No, nope, he's going to be fine. I mean, he hasn't exactly itemized damage on the Slark, really. He's all sounding in the Astro Silver, though. It's all quite tanked. It's pretty low damage, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Right, Dyra trying to push the Radiant base. Holly finding a free kill, maybe potentially. Oh, one courier. Second courier. Two couriers. Oh, it doesn't oh, kill it! Yeah. No, it goes back! <laughs> How does that not kill it? Jesus. Yeah, I know. Curry is tanky. Or maybe Ollie... Ollie's got very low base damage. Only 182 damage, which is pretty low. But that's how Slark is. You know, you need those Agi stacks. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ollie getting his courier contract completed. You see the tornado spam. So good at defending. Oh, he's got the talent now. Gotta be careful, though. I did not last very long. That's Satanic giving up 30% status resistance. I can't believe they haven't nerfed it. Uh, Look, he just walked straight through the ice wall. I, the break. He's like, whatever. Yeah, no more backdoor protection now. Yeah. Dodges the tornado. EMP. I, ice armor on the barracks. They're doing what they can. Barracks are going to go down, finally. Such an annoying a shield. It is. Veteran is thinking about going in, but he's not sure yet. 
He's being very, very careful. He's making the enemy team scared. Look how much stuff they're throwing out. And Veteran hasn't even cast a spell yet. Look, he, he doesn't care. Oh, he's taking quite a lot of damage. Is he going to commit his ult now? He's got to think about it. He's pretty low. Yeah, he pops the BKB. He's going to use the Satanic as well. There it is. Attack full oh HP. One auto attack. A 2,000 crit. He's looking for another hit. Kills Dokken. One yeah, more I'm hit. Right Noodles right. is going to go down. Out comes the Crimson Guard. It's a bit like three buybacks in the rate. This is going to be the final fight. Ole, he's taking a lot of damage. He's going to go down instantly in the stun. Buyback from Ole. There's four buybacks used for the Radiant. Their whole Holy team hell. have had to buy back. Apart from Tim. <laughs> and the Dyer is just going to be like, yeah, we got four buybacks. See you later, nerds. Oh, my God. Oh, oh they did lose one. Oh, okay. They, they lost to Care. He was sort of lost. Yeah, in the he, he got disrupted while the other right, Let's have a look away. at the replay of that fight. See if we can capture <laughs> enough of it. Because that was absolutely insane. That is a 13,000 experience swing for the Dyer. You can see that as soon as Veteran gets low, absolutely full HP, Andy one shots Bilal. Kills Docker, no one can kill Veteran. They tried so hard, but they just couldn't kill him. Right, I'm going to stop the replay because Ollie, he's going in for a kill. Oh, Dark Portrait? He's doing a lot of damage, Dark Portrait, but it's not going to be enough. Not enough to kill Slark. And now Ollie very quickly dispatches his own illusion. You know, permanent Agi is something, it's only one Agi per kill. It doesn't really stack up that much, does it? Unless you've got like 30 kills. No. I mean, it's not nothing, I suppose, but... They really can't do anything against the Sven. They're, like, they spend their whole team trying to go on him. They don't have enough burst. He just pops BKB Satanic and presses his stun and he's on full HP. And he's one shot. Nice yours from JCA. Really good reactions there. Uses the Glimmer Cape. He may still go down. How have the Radiant ended up in... The dire base? I don't know. I was about to ask that. I literally like, it's like I blinked and I'm like, wait, why are they here? Yeah. They, they've been losing all game and they're going aggressive. Yeah, no buyback. Maybe this is an all-in play. They've taken the tier three tower. Got strength with backup now, but. Okay, cooldown is only two minutes. Yeah, but there is God strength now. Do they know this? They realize how low the cooldown is. He's got everything. He's going silver edge on Sven. I don't know they who, are taking that who he's right. trying to break. Yeah, they are. Nice shackle. Shackle to the... Oh, here comes the stun. You're not getting away from this. It manages to stun three heroes. Okay, Veteran can't do much more. Ollie's doing a lot of damage, though. Ollie actually finds a kill on Jack. Jack's going to have to buy back. And now Ollie, he's getting a lot of Agi. More and more Agi. More and more and more. He's already on 300 Agi. This is actually huge for Ollie. Now he's got no ulti. It's true. He's had to buy back as well. Actually, the Radiant, they've just made a almost a game-winning play. They've caused both the POS1 and the POS2 to buy back. Ollie's now sitting around with... How much Agi do you have at the end of that fight? 162 stolen Agi, and he got another two permanent. That said, Belial is now dead for nearly two minutes, and Roche is back up. I'm actually amazed at the Radiant. They had to use four buybacks to defend the base. It looked completely <laughs> hopeless. They ran top, they took the tower, and they won a team fight. How on earth did they pull that off? I, I've still, I'm like, I don't know how it happened. Like, what, what, honestly, what happened? I mean, Ollie just decided to actually be good at the game and just started killing everyone. He's gone <laughs> for a moon shard, so he's so, really gone for damage now. Something small that might have mattered quite a bit here is Sinister Gate is on Lich isn't affected by status resist because it's a channeled spell. It's not a. Is that how it works? I believe so. Same oh. thing with like something like Black Hole. Black Hole's a bit different though. I don't know about it, Sinister Gaze. Yeah. I don't. Okay, that's, if it is, then that's it, good. It did seem like he had a long duration on it when he did cast it. So. Ollie, I think going Moonshard is really the correct idea on Slark. Because 140 attack speed is absolutely huge. Oh, Tim! He doesn't Still steal it. it in time. No, he doesn't. Oh. He gets the cheese, but not the Aegis. Okay. He's the only person already that had a buyback, so I guess it's fine for him to do that's that. That's true. He's got a cheese, though. Ready for the next fight. Oh, did he get a cheese? Yeah, he blinks oh, okay. in, but he doesn't pick up the Aegis. He picks up the cheese, which is pretty yeah. tragic, right? But if he got the Aegis, would it really have mattered? Like, he'd still be dead. Uh, it's just denies the spend from having that, I suppose, because the spend doesn't have buyback now. Oh, the that Dire, they're just one. running in for the win. Are they going to commit to the win? Are they just going to go Rags? Are they going to go Rags? No, We've got God can. Strength, so... God Strength and Aegis, but Sven has no boots. But who needs boots when you can just punch your way in to everything? Nice Tornado. EMP as well. Sven still has plenty of mana. I guess Aghanim's gives pretty good mana, doesn't it? Oli, he's in. Look at him. He's got the Prince's knife. He's trying to do it. Look how much damage he's taking. Never mind, he's popped his oh, ult. He's stealing a lot of Agi. This is huge for Oli. Now he's going on to Veteran. He's stealing so much agility. Look at the attack speed of Oli. He's got to be a bit careful, though. Tim has used the arena. Oh, Out comes from. the Dokken ult as well. Oli, he's back in. He's got the alacrity. He doesn't care. Yeah, fine. Be in your ult. Abaddon, I'm just hey. going to steal all your stats. Look at the Agi. It's going up and up and up. But he has to go back. Hey. Max level ultimately. Tim, he gets the stun on Veteran, but there's an Ink Swell on him. 
Yes, we still have the God Strength from Sven. He was waiting for it. God Strength has been used. He's now got Tim. He's now going to go in again. Five second cooldown until he can Stormbot again. But Oli, he's got quite a lot of agi. Does he want to go in? It's, so much it's, attack speed. it's four for four. Everything has been okay. Glyph's been used. Oh, he's back in. He's on Decay. Out comes oh. the Cataclysm. It's going to do a lot of damage. Decay doesn't die, but Veteran oh, does nice. manage to find a kill. That's pretty big. Out comes Deafening Blast. Oli, he's back in. He's getting more agi. More, more, more. Nice Sinister Gaze. Is he going to kill Veteran? He doesn't. Veteran turns around like one-shots him. Pops oh, the Satanic. No. That was that's the chance. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, I think that, that must be it. Just and that's like going to be GG. It was so close. It looked like Oli was going to get the kill, but Sven is like, you know my hero can one-shot you. Bam. <laughs> Just, you're instantly dead. And that's going to be game. 80 kills in a 52-minute game. Pretty insane. Wow, well, the underdogs won. I think if Tim managed to actually snipe that Aegis, it might have mattered there. Because he did lose the Aegis very fast. Yeah, you're right. But but he was patient. He knew, okay, you're going to kill me. It's fine. I'm going to save Satanic. I'm going to save God's strength. I'm going to go all in on my second life. And then he still won. I mean, think about how he had a bad early game on the Sven. Like, if we go 10 minute, you know, 10 minute mark, he's pretty low down for a Sven, right? He's not even at 4K past 10 minutes. Um, and then he farmed. Far he's at the top of net worth by 20 minutes, so it doesn't take him too long. He's maintaining a solid lead. End of the game, he's 15 6 9. And he spent most of the game, what, three kills, five deaths, and finishes on 15 kills, six deaths. So that was an enormous Sven comeback. Then Oli started to do really well and play really, you know, just great plays on the Slark. It was just a little bit too late, fortunately. And the underdog team won. They had only one Divine. And they had uh, they had some players who were quite new to the in-houses as well. So, you know, like Karen said, they don't quite have the synergy of playing together for so long. But they still pulled off a very, very impressive victory. So, well done.